It is one of the biggest scams targeting seniors in the United States right now. Federal officials say Jamaican lottery schemes are growing at an alarming rate. A Senate hearing on the problem is all set for tomorrow. Jeff Glor uncovered new information by going straight to the source. Jeff, good morning. Anthony, good morning to you. Investigators say it is one of the most effective scams they've ever seen, bilking Americans out of hundreds of millions of dollars a year. It does that by targeting the most vulnerable members of our population, often those who can afford to lose the least. So we traveled to Jamaica to see where it began and to meet the scammers behind it. It sounds like a dream call. Your name was elected at the $2.5 million. Then comes the catch. It is the Jamaican lottery scam, a growing scheme that led us to one of the most dangerous areas in Jamaica and had us running down the streets of Montego Bay, where the scam is so popular, there's a hit rap song endorsing it. We make you a stellar. Here's how it works. Scammers in Jamaica obtain lists of older Americans' names and numbers. They then call the seniors, usually pretending to be with an American sweepstakes company, telling them they've won money. To get the prize, however, they first have to pay a fee. We've seen checks, we've seen postal money orders, we've seen prepaid wire cards. Tony Gomez heads the U.S. Postal Inspection Service in Miami. On the day we visited, they intercepted this package, bound for Jamaica with $9,000 in cash inside. Victims are falling for it because scammers seem to know exactly what to say. And it works. Complaints from across the country to the Federal Trade Commission about this scam just from 1,800 in 2007 to almost 30,000 in 2012. Far more go unreported. In Maryland, we met 79-year-old Dorothy, who last year was struggling to pay her family's hospital bills when she received a call. Eight point something million dollars plus, I don't know how much in cash. What made you believe them? Maybe I went it down deep to prove to my family that I could do something for them. I could help him, and he just sounds so convincing. Over seven months, Dorothy was scammed out of $30,000. Doug Shadell with the AARP says the scam often starts with charm, but can turn threatening. They're relentless. They will call 50 times a day, 300 times a week until you give in. And the thing that's most worrisome to me is these are the most vulnerable people we have. They're 75 to 80 year old seniors um, who are scared to death by these guys. Just listen to these voicemails Dorothy received. We wanted to meet a scammer to see why they do this. These two women from Maine were scammed by the same man. And this is his Facebook page. We traced him to Montego Bay, a beautiful tourist destination, but also, it turns out, the center of this ugly scheme. You know, this is a complex crime that evolves. A special agent with U.S. Homeland Security, whose face we were asked to conceal for his protection, gave us a tour with a Jamaican police escort. The U.S. has partnered with the Jamaican government to investigate these crimes. First, we got to look at how some con men are using the stolen money. In the middle of this modest neighborhood is a mansion. Right. This gentleman was definitely involved in lottery scamming, definitely scammed U.S. victims and, and used the proceeds to, to build this mansion. Where are we going now? We're going to head up to Granville, which is a rather dangerous area, a lot of gang activity. This neighborhood is believed to be the birthplace of the lottery scam. The area is extremely run down and it didn't take long to find suspicious activity. You can see Jamaican police have just pulled over a vehicle and they're talking to a few guys who they believe may be part of one of these ongoing lottery scams. The next day, on our own, we set out to meet the scammer whose Facebook page we'd seen. He agreed to see our producer, who he thought was bringing him money. What he didn't know is that hidden cameras were rolling. What I did was right. It's taken from people who's in need like I am. For example, I'm in a situation where I'm in a deep hole. Maybe they're in the same situation that they can get a hold of the cash, which they can borrow. He seemed to be excusing his actions by saying Americans have money. 
but he claimed he was no longer involved. That's when we walked up. I'm Jeff Glor from CBS News. I wonder if we can ask you a couple questions. About what? About the lottery scam. Right. The lottery scam. Go ahead. How long are you part of it for? About a week. A week? And we just want to part of it. Sir, we just wanted to ask you a couple quick questions. Why are you following? Stop following. Why, why, what is this? What is this? We just wanted to get a couple answers. What is this? That's all. With that, he ran away. But will scammers like him be stopped? The head of Jamaica's major organized crime and anti-corruption task force, Carl Williams, told us they're trying. I am not going to tell you that uh, we will get rid of every single one, but we will bring this problem under control. Until it is, we are likely to see many more Americans like Dorothy drained both financially and emotionally. I don't want nobody else hurt. He had guts enough to steal money from me. And I was foolish enough to do it. I pray that someday God will forgive me. A congressional hearing on this issue is scheduled for tomorrow. Lawmakers will hear from victims, federal agents, and local police trying to stop the problem. Also, by the end of this month, new legislation should be on the books in Jamaica, making the crimes easier to prosecute. It and reminds you know. me of what you're always told as a kid, if something is too good to be true, it probably is. But you feel for that woman when you see, I'm just trying to help my family. And you have to be reminded of that. So if you can talk to either grandparents or parents or whatever else, remind them that's basically what investigators say, let them know. Right. Don't wire money to anyone you don't know. Just hang up when they call. Just right. hang up. Jeff Glor, thanks, Jeff. Sure, guys.